Animal shelters in the tri-state are looking to the public to help combat overcrowding. Eyewitness News Sydney Davis spoke with the Davis County Animal Shelter today on the challenges they're facing. The Evansville Animal Care and Control was able to receive help from Vandenberg and Warwick County after having zero open kennels for dogs. It Takes a Village No Kill Rescue shared they had more animals in their care than at any other time in their 13-year history. And now, the Davis County Animal Shelter says with over 100 cats and an estimated 100 dogs, the shelter is forced to utilize non-traditional spaces to house them. Uh, we have some kittens in foster care. Uh, we have some that are at PetSmart that are available for adoption. But we have a lot of cats, I mean, over 100, and we have over 100 dogs. Officials say while rescues can turn away animals once at capacity, the county animal shelter's open intake policy means they don't turn any away. But at some point, decisions are made that are difficult for everyone involved. And it doesn't mean that necessarily that, that they want to or there's something really innately wrong with that animal. It's just that the animal's been here for three, four months and there's been no interest or if it came in as a stray, nobody's came in to claim it. The county shelter has lowered adoption fees to $30 for kittens and waived the fee completely for adult cats. But Paget says while adopting helps, it's a means to an end for a reoccurring issue. If this is a nationwide problem right now. They're seeing huge numbers of intake of animals and the adoptions are down and intakes are up. Um, and we're not going to be able, this is something that we're not going to just be able to adopt our way out of. Paget says other ways to locally combat are spay and neuter which the shelter can assist with at their veterinary clinic and through evaluating pet owner responsibilities with work-life responsibilities prior to adoptions. But the thing is, being at capacity, every time we make a dent in it, it just fills back up. It, it's like uh, a sieve. In Davis County, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.